Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the tenth in a series of videos on the topic on existing in harmony with other beings on and beyond Earth by Alice B. Claggett. This the tenth in the series has to do with sentient beings beyond the astral realm. And it also includes hints and tips on how we can relate to these beings or or to the higher realms without their help. Um, this is the last in the series. I just had a caveat for you. Um, when I speak of the different dimensions, uh, it seems cut and dried in this video series, but in fact it's not so cut and dried. There are human beings existing in astral form and higher in the fourth dimension in all different dimensions. There are beings we think of as astral beings that exist in higher dimensions but not lower. There are um, beings of light that exist in, in very high dimensions, very, very high up, some not even formed without form, and many with form. So, um, so it's good to keep in mind that the categories that I use in this video are just general baskets of categories. Um, physical form, astral form, and sentient beings beyond the astral realm, which is what we're talking about today. Beings of Light are Star Brethren. Beings of Light are sisters and brothers of the stars, are now able to communicate with humans without distortions of light. Those of us humans who are developing telepathy may join with our ascension teams, including our dear families of light, to help Earth through this transition in love and peace and joy. Know that communications you receive in English from the higher realms are distortions of the light. These beings of light, our star brethren, communicate through light language and through the sounds of light. So if you hear something in English, you can raise an eyebrow and wonder what it really is that you're listening to. Now, the angelic realm. The angels have ever been at the ready, able to cut through the black magic spells of the beings that roam earth during the great ages of darkness. And now, too, during this great awakening of earth, they are ready to be of service to humankind and earth. All we need do is ask for their help. But here is the hitch. Ask we must, or that angelic aid may not be granted. God awareness. Direct alignment with God in will, in heart, and in mind is much more readily at hand during the awakening as the incoming light is destroying misunderstandings caused by distortion of the light during the recent age of darkness. Now we can all rise to a state of Christed and Buddhic consciousness, of Satori, enlightenment, illumination, and God awareness, if we set our hearts and souls to this end. Here are two tools that I know of to help us attain alignment with God. The Great Invocation of Dual Kul. For alignment with God and God alone, may I suggest the Great Invocation of Dual Kul. This invocation is available online 
at a link called The Great Invocation by Alice Bailey in uh, a site called Theosophy Wiki. Currently, and I hope you can find it still, it is at https colon slash slash theosophy dot wiki forward slash en forward slash capital G R E A T underscore capital I N V O C A T I O N. So checking the Theosophy Wiki website in case that URL no longer exists, I, I feel certain you can find the great invocation that was channeled through Alice Bailey by Dwal Kul. Um, it's currently with the Theosophical Literature. And that's why I can't put it in here right now is because it's still under copyright. However, it's terrific. So take a look there and see what you think. Invocation Beyond Time and Space So as to avail ourselves of all the help now available to us from sentient beings beyond the astral realm, may I suggest this invocation. Spirit to Team Optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. Well, there's a great deal more that can be said about interspecies communication. And I said quite a bit of it in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, which you may recall https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com If you go there, you can search for Compendium Interspecies Communication. That has links to many of the most important blogs I did on that, on that uh, topic. You should know that almost all those blogs are personally channeled by me and new to the world. And where they're not new to the world, but just research, then I mentioned that specifically in the blog so that you'll know the difference. I feel certain that great adventures wait for you there uh, through your reading of, of the blogs noted in that compendium. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. So long for now.